Well, Danielle Bean is familiar to Catholic TV viewers for her wonderful show, The Gist. Uh, we're going to catch up with her now about what she's been doing. I'm holding the book, You're Worth It, uh, which is very good for Kevin Nelson. He needed to hear that today. So it's, it's <laughs> a you, good, Jay. there it is. It's a good, good thing. Uh, Danielle, you, you know, you're doing so many different things. Uh, we have to come up to date with, you know, about eight minutes to bring it all <laughs> together. Tell us about Catholic Digest, what's going on. Yeah, so happy to talk about Catholic Digest because you know what? We celebrated this past November 80 years of publishing Catholic years. Digest. Uh, yeah, and what an honor and a privilege it is for me to be in charge of Catholic Digest through this historic time and to be transitioning it into new media. So it's been an exciting time at Catholic Digest. We've been taking a look back. We looked back at old issues we on our cover of our 80th issue we had some vintage issues you know from the, the covers and some of them are pretty fun to look at and some vintage ads throughout the magazine but in addition to looking back we're always looking toward the future and we're looking to serve our mission has not changed we're still looking to serve everyday Catholics in living out their faith and family lives in everyday ways in practical ways supportive ways we just want to be encouraging of them in that and help them to make their Catholic identity a vital part of who they are every day and who so who would be the people who would read this and how would they get it well we're always you know always looking for um, new audiences but we're really we're really focused on people who um, fully identify with their Catholic faith but mm -hmm. then we also make sure that our pages and our articles are very open to people who are exploring the faith or people who maybe have left the faith and are interested in coming back because we hear from people all the time that you know I was away from the church but someone shared this article with me and you know we never want the, our articles to come across to people the voice of our magazine to come across to people as judging Mm -hmm. We always want it to be welcoming, which is the voice of the church, which is the voice of Christ. So really, we feel that that's our calling, that's our mission, to be that voice, be that encouragement inside of people's faith and family lives, which don't always look perfect. Mm -hmm. You know, we accept that. We know that. We live it ourselves. And so accepting that and knowing that, we, we try to bring that to the people that, it, you know, it's okay and we can meet you where you are, just like Jesus does. Mm -hmm. And along with your duties at Catholic Digest, and you just put this book out, You're Worth It. Could you tell us a little bit about this book? And I understand there's some retreats that are yes, attached on to this yes. as well. Yes, the You're Worth It book, it um, came about because I was, after finishing my most recent book, which was Momnipotent, which is speaking to women in their, in their vocation of motherhood and, you know, their particular feminine virtues, I felt like, what do women need to hear after they've been affirmed inside of their vocation? Well, what everybody needs is a close relationship with Jesus. And though I think sometimes we give lip service to that idea, that yes, Jesus loves me, and oh yes, I have a relationship with Jesus, and whatever. And of course, we Catholics know that we know him intimately. We receive him into our body through the sacraments. And yet, I think we sometimes lose that somehow, that essential relationship that we're meant to have with Jesus, that intimate, personal, loving relationship where he loves each of us uniquely. So I really, in this book, look to speak to the hearts of women. And the way that I structured it is looking at the women of the Gospels, because I've always been fascinated by the stories of women in the Gospels, because they knew Jesus, and he touched them and they heard his voice and they were in his presence and they were healed by him and moved by him and um, so so seeing that those women had that personal interaction with him what can we learn from that when looking at the stories what can we learn about God's unique love for women by the way that Jesus interacted with real-life women in the Gospels so we look at the different stories chapter by chapter in the book and then pull from that what modern-day women can learn from that because you know there's no accidents in Scripture no word is extra and there's no word missing so knowing that let's look deeply at those those stories and see what messages they have for our hearts today well we know all about monipotent because of that great <laughs> blink she did for us oh, I love those <laughs> you know, what's interesting about uh, the ladies in the Bible is their strength. You right. know, you always hear people will, sometimes will say, oh, well, the Bible, it's, it's old-fashioned. But if you really dig into it and, and open it up, the women are so strong, aren't they? They're amazing, and there's such beautiful stories to be found there and such great examples for us that I think all of us can relate to. And not all of them were strong. It's also important to remember, like the woman who was caught in adultery, how she was flung at Jesus' feet. I think every human being can relate to that feeling of when life flings you and flings you at Jesus' feet. If only you'll look up and see that he's there. So looking at that story, but then looking at the great faith, the woman who just touched the hem of his cloak and said, if I can just do that, I'll be healed. It's such great faith, and we have so much we can learn from that. I mean, do we have that kind of faith? We might say that we do, yeah, right. but then actually living out that faith is really a much bigger challenge than sometimes we're willing to admit. What was, what was one of your favorite stories 
because I know you're, you're doing all this research. Was there one that really struck you? Well, you know what? I love Mary Magdalene. Oh, you know, she's just such a beautiful example to all of us. And I loved that God rewarded her faithfulness because she was loyal to him. You know, he, he healed her um, of a possession that she had, and she just stuck with him from there. She never left from that point on. That's what all of us are called to do is be that, be that loyal follower of Jesus. And she was there. She saw his passion. She saw his death. And then she was the first to see his resurrection. And what I love so much is in, in that gospel passage where he comes and appears to her after the resurrection, she thinks he's the gardener. <laughs> and I love that because how many times do we miss seeing Jesus? How many times do we miss seeing him in other people, seeing him in our life circumstances? How many times do we mess it up because we're so caught up in our own grief? She was crying so much. She couldn't recognize. She couldn't see him until he opened her eyes. And so remembering that, let, let's remember that, you know, that example that Mary sets for us of opening her eyes and having her heart open to the presence of Jesus. You get some retreats set up with this as well, right? I do, uh, yes. Uh, I organized um, um, I set up a retreat, a day retreat for women now. So I decided, you know what women need? They need a retreat <laughs> and they need, they need it to be a kind of flexible, doable day retreat because not everybody's able to get away for yeah. multiple days. So I put together, I organized it according to the themes of the book and it's, it's over the course of four or five hours depending and a number of different places have opened up to welcome me to do this retreat with the women there and just bring the message of Jesus' love to women. So it's really been a beautiful experience. I've had such a wonderful, positive, positive response to introducing this retreat to women from all over the place. You know, I've got many that are coming up in Indiana and Texas and Kansas and Connecticut and New Hampshire. So I'm thrilled to have this, you know, this opportunity to bring this message of Jesus' love to women. They so desperately need to hear it. And spending a day focused on that among other women is a really powerful experience. It must be good getting together to talk about common issues and, and things that we probably, that women all go through. I can't say we. <laughs> that would not make sense for me to say we. I have four sisters, so That's sometimes okay. I just yes, throw myself know. in there. <laughs> and you're a fan of the gist, so we I, know you yeah. get it. Well, talk, we're almost out of time. Hey, why don't we get your boys up here, because I want to see you. Come on up, guys. We have you. I know you brought two of your sons with yes. you today, but the gist is coming up. What did you love most about the gist? Oh my gosh, what a great experience to be able to hear from so, viewers of Catholic TV. You've got such great fans here, and they were so welcoming when we started with the gist. So, hey guys. <laughs> um, so it was just, it was such a fun experience, and having never done television before, it was a thrill for me to kind of learn the ropes while doing. It was a baptism by fire, and I look back at those early episodes, and oh my gosh, but at the same time, what fun, and what a joy to be able to learn with the wonderful people here at Catholic TV. And your co-hosts are great. It's, uh, it's so much fun. Yeah. Well, we're almost out of time, so who do, who do we have here? Okay, this is Raphael. He's, he's my son who's 11. And I, you are Danny. so tall. <laughs> I, you're a fifth grader? <laughs> yes. Wow. My son's a fifth grader. He's not that tall. <laughs> and I hear you play basketball. Move down to where I live and you can play for my team. <laughs> hey, where can people learn more about the book? They can learn more at daniellebean.com and uh, they can click on the book tab and, and find out more about the book. If they want to know about the retreat, go to daniellebean.com forward slash retreat and to find out more about Catholic Digest, catholicdigest.com. We'd love to have you join our subscriber family. Well, we are so thrilled that all three of you joined <laughs> us today. Uh, we hope you guys like Catholic TV. And